Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain about derivative controller. Before proceeding to the derivative controller, first of all understand this error graph. You can clearly see that even though the error at time is equal to t0 is 0, it is changing in a time and will certainly not be 0 in the following time. Therefore, some action should be taken even though the error is zero. This scenario describes the nature and need of a derivative action. Let us see derivative controller in detail now. Derivative controller action responds to the rate at which the error is changing, that is the derivative of the error. In this mode, the output of controller depends on the rate of change of error. Hence, it is also called as rate action mode or anticipatory action mode. The mathematical equation for the mode is P of t is equal to k in suffix d into d upon dt, where kd is the derivative gain constant, where the gain tells us by how much percent to change the controller output for every percent per second rate of change of error derivative action is not used alone because it provides no output when error is a constant the derivative gain constant indicated by how much percent the controller output must change for every percent per second rate of change of error generally kd is expressed in a minutes the important features of this type of controller or control mode is that for a given rate of change or a error signal there is a unique value of controller output derivative controller thus must anticipate the actuating error initiates an early corrective action and tends to increase stability of system and improving the transient response the amount of derivative added to the control output is based in a time units. Figure shows how derivative acts as a proportional band. This line shows a proportional controller due to a process variable error from set point. Using derivative that is shown by solid line, the control output jumps up, rises in a ramp and then falls back to proportional control action when the error becomes constant. In essence, it applies the brakes on the process error by quickly shifting the proportional band. Derivative has no effect on output if the error is not changing. Now, this figure illustrates how derivative action changes the controller output for various rate of change of error. For this example, it is assumed that the controller output with no error or rate of change of error is suppose 50%. When the error changes very rapidly with a positive slope, the output jumps to a large value. And when the error is not changing, the output returns to 50%. Finally, when error is decreasing, that is, has a negative slope, the output discontinuously changes to a lower value. The derivative mode must be used with great care and usually with a small gain because a rapid rate of change of error can cause very large. Sudden changes of controller output such an event can lead to instability. While sudden or a rapid change in error leads to control signal of a larger magnitude Gradual change leads to small magnitude. Even if the error is huge, the derivative controller will generate no signal if the error is constant. Thus, derivative controller not used alone. It is always used with the P controller. Let us summarize the characteristics of derivative mode. First characteristic is, if the error is zero, the mode provides no output. Second characteristic is, if the error is constant in time, the mode provides no output. 
if the error changes in time the mode contributes an output of a kd percent for every percent per second rate of change of error and fourth characteristic is for direct action a positive rate of change of error produce a positive derivative mode output let us see advantage of derivative controller first advantage is reduce settling time and adds leads second advantage is reduce overshoot adds more stability now disadvantages of derivative controller not possible to eliminate steady state error or offset not possible to use alone excessive use may make the system slow next disadvantage is amplifies noise and application it is used in conjunction with the proportional controller thanks for watching this video for more information watch my other videos based on the controllers